ACC Big Ten Challenge here on the ACC Network Extra. We're in Raleigh, North Carolina, at Reynolds Coliseum, 13th ranked NC State at a perfect 6-0, hosting the 5-1 Michigan Wolverines. This is the 12th annual ACC Big Ten Challenge. The ACC has gotten the better of this contest throughout the years, and so far they have a very slight advantage, Ernie. Yeah, the Big Ten is catching up. Uh, both these conferences are tough conferences. These are great teams. It's going to be a great matchup tonight. And nine games tonight. So glad you could join us here in Raleigh for this one. He's Ernie Myers. I'm Andrew Sanders. Ernie, big time game tonight. It has all the makings of that. Probably the toughest opponent faced for both of these teams so far. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Michigan is playing great basketball. They're five and one. The Wolfpack is ranked 13th in the country. Uh, getting ready for a great contest tonight. And this matchup features two outstanding centers. Hallie Thome, one of the best centers in the country, Ernie. Yeah, she's one of not only one of the best players, a center, she's one of the best players in the country. She's averaging 16 points a game, uh, seven rebounds. Uh, she's going to be a problem down low tonight. She is a veteran, a senior, going up against a freshman tonight, NC State's Alisa Kinane. She's off to a great start to her career. Oh, absolutely. She is averaging 13 points and four rebounds a game. She gets in a little foul trouble, but She's been hard to guard for a freshman in her short career. So that'll be the matchup to watch tonight. Here's the sixth year head coach of the Wolfpack. Wes Moore took the pack to the Sweet 16 last year, but he knows this is going to be a, a tough game, maybe a tournament feel to it. Yeah, absolutely. I was with him in practice today. He said it's going to be a game of butts, Ernie. I said, what do you mean, coach? A game of butts. He said, whoever don't get their butt back on defense, whoever don't get their butt in there and rebound, whoever don't get their butt in there and box out is going to lose this game, Ernie. <laughs> NC State, I almost said controlled the tip, and then Grace Hunter <laughs> lost control, and so uh, Michigan will have the first possession and we'll get a look at the starting five for the Wolverines. It's a Michigan team that made the second round of the NCAA tournament last year. Amy Dilk handling the point guard duty. She's just a freshman. Yeah, she had a big game against Washington. She yeah, had she 19 did. points, nine rebounds, and seven assists. She almost had a triple double. Safe to say that was a good day. Yeah, that was a good day. Deja Church is off the mark. The rebound to Ace Koenig of the Wolfpack. Matchup of point guards that wear number one, Steedy Rogers. Kira Leslie in air ball. Maybe a little bit amped up for this one. You know both teams are going to have some nerves uh, going up against a big time opponent. Uh, yeah, she was out here shooting pregame and she was knocking them down. Just a little nerves. NC State ranked 13th in the country, and Michigan is just outside the top 25 rankings, depending on where you look, either 26th or in the very low 30s. So if they win this game, Michigan, they're getting into the top 25. Oh, yeah, yeah, they'll be in the top 25. They, they get a win here against the 13th ranked Wolfpack. This is Brown squaring up a three. That's off the heel. Long rebound out to Hunter. And she'll look to push the pace. Ace Koenig wanted the ball back. They'll post Erica Cassell and Thome all over her. Big size advantage down there for number 30. Repost to Cassell. Trying to shoot over. Thome blocked her shot. And the putback for Hunter. Yeah, Hunter's the leading scorer on this team. She was MVP out there in the Cancun. She's playing well right now. Dome's first touch. And Michigan off to an 0 for 3 start from the field. Not a bad trip to go down for Thanksgiving to Cancun. Oh, uh, no, not at all. I see, some, I see some of them have tans. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit better uh, for the Wolfpack because not only do they go down there and enjoy the weather and maybe a little sunshine, uh, but they also won both games. Here's the head coach of the Michigan Wolverines, Kim barnes Rico, in her seventh season. The winningest coach in Michigan history in the 2017 Big Ten Coach of the Year. 400 wins in her career. That's awesome. Made the tournament last year for the first time since her first year in Ann Arbor. And this is a team that looks like they should make the tournament. Thome 
Had it partially blocked, I believe, knocked out of her hands. Yeah, Michigan's trying to get it inside to Thome. She's averaging almost 16 points a game and is their best player. Leslie with an open three. She's 0 for 2. Thome gets the tip out. Michigan likes to run. They're pushing it. Church all the way to the cup. Beautiful move by Church. She went in on the control and hit it off the glass. The sophomore from Southfield, Michigan. Gets the Wolverines on the board, and maybe that'll settle some nerves after an 0 for 4 start from the floor. Michigan coming out in a strong man-to-man. -man. They're trying to overplay. Top shot for Hunter. Offensive oh, rebound is there for Cassell in amongst the trees. Good rebound by Cassell. Tough drive. Leslie missed the scoop. Dilk pushing the pace. Goes into the chest of Hunter. And it'll be Wolfpack ball after the foul. There's Church. Nice jump stop. And she got some spring. She was floating on that one. That foul, by the way, going up against Hallie Thome. And so we talked about Kanane's foul trouble. Now she comes off the bench, but she does play starters minutes. So we haven't seen her yet. Koenig off the mark. Uh, but foul trouble, obviously, amongst the bigs, always going to be key. Church yeah. in transition again. Two buckets for her. Yeah, Michigan's pushing the ball. As soon as Thomes gets a rebound, she pushes and get it out on the break. Neither team shooting particularly well. Michigan two of seven, NC State just one of seven. Thome got her hand on that pass and it ends up as a steal for Dilk. Taking it all the way. And a foul on the way up. Thome will go to the free throw line. Yeah, Michigan is overplaying uh, State. Here's the steal. Here's Dilk going all the way. The land, throw him on the rebound, and she gets fouled by Rogers. But yeah, Michigan is just pushing the ball. Thomas gets the rebound, and they're just looking to pitch out and get quick out on the break. State has to get back on defense. So Rogers heads to the bench. Her first foul, team's first. Thome knocks down the pair, and the substitute into the game for the Wolfpack is the sophomore Kayla Jones. that overplay. Dilk way out on Hunter, preventing her from getting the ball. Back to her cut. Almost got an open three. Leslie's over two, and she didn't want to take that shot. Cassell forces up a shot. Took a lot of contact. Yeah, I thought she got fouled on that. Skip pass. Dilk gives it up. Dome looking to drive. His state pushing the ball. Leslie sealed off well by Church. And a dangerous pass by Cassell. She gets it to Hunter, leading score. NC State ice cold from three to start this game. Yeah, they're ice cold from everywhere right now. Good, Good. steal. Yeah, the hustle from Jones. Dilt gets it back. And she misses from short range. Leslie scores. Leslie was determined on that lay-in right there off the glass. And maybe Thome a little hesitant to pick up her second foul. Church extends that elbow. That's an easy call, an offensive foul against Deja Church. Well, both teams struggling offensively, but when they've had success, it's been getting it to the rim. Yeah, getting to the rim, getting the ball up off the glass. Back here in a Rockin' Reynolds Coliseum with my buddy Ernie Myers. I'm Andrew Sanders. Here's a look at the teams playing tonight. Nine games for you. Obviously the one here and then these eight. And the big one to watch on ESPN2, Notre Dame and Iowa, the ranked matchup and the reigning national champions. Yeah, uh, Notre Dame is a tough team. Uh, Iowa's coming up, up and coming. Uh, that's going to be a game to watch tonight. You see Maryland, they're ranked seventh in the country. They're already up 20 
on Georgia Tech. And Maryland is an interesting case, Ernie, because they played on both sides of this challenge. Yeah, they have. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, now they're in the Big Ten. Uh, ACC fans got to get used to that. And they actually have an interesting tie-in to uh, this game because uh, Michigan is 8-3 and three all time in the challenge. They fared very well against ACC competition in this thing. They're second in the Big Ten, only behind Maryland, but I don't know if you can really count that as Kanane gets her first touch and scores on Thone. Yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can count that, but that was a beautiful move by Kanane, where they come right in the game and get right into the flow of things. All right, here's the matchup we're looking for. Kanane almost got tangled up there. They post Thome again. Kanane got a hand to it. It's a turnover. Hunter, great left-handed pass over top of Church, knocked away by Haley Brown. Here's Kunane on the sweeping right-hand hook off the glass. But if I'm Michigan, Maryland has 10 wins in the challenge as Kunane again beats Thome. Two possessions she's showing out early. Oh, man, she's ready to play. She's coming in like uh, Thome who? Michigan wants timeout here. And this crowd is loving the energy that Elisa Kanane has brought. Yeah, she comes in the game and gets two quick buckets. Uh, State needed those buckets, and she's playing with fire. Here she goes on the dribble, taking her right off the dribble, with the left hand laying. And maybe that first foul that Hallie Thome picked up, maybe playing in the back of her mind. Well, Westmore, he knows that it's going to be a game of, as you were saying, a game of butts. Is it? It's going to be effort. Effort. And uh, whoever wins the rebounding battle in this game is going to win the game. And Both teams rank nationally in uh, margins of rebounds. And I think that's going to be the, uh, the catalyst of the game. Now, NC State 26th in the country. They're plus 11 and change in rebounding margin. But uh, Michigan even better. They're plus 16.2. Munger a three that rolls in. Nicole Munger, the senior. Uh, you can't leave Munger open. She had a big game against Washington. She had 27 points, seven of those with three pointers. Yeah, the Huskies found that out the hard way as Nicole Munger set her career high and her first shot of the night goes down. Basket's gotta be looking huge for her. Kiara Leslie continuing that theme, getting to the basket is where NC State's having success. Yeah, you're gonna have to guard Leslie. She's the do-it-all player for the Wolfpack. So after the Leslie layup, a one-point lead for the Wolfpack. Kanane and the Wolfpack would much rather have Thome catch the ball out here than in the post. She'll square up a three, and that's a shot that NC State will let her have. Yeah, they'll let her take that all day long. Coach will let her take that shot. If, if they can beat State with that shot, he'll, he'll let her take, take that shot all day long. And Thome will check out momentarily. Coach Rico wasn't happy with that shot. A Ken Ray Johnson getting her first minutes. The junior from Toledo. Both teams started ice cold from the floor, but the pace has been good. The scoring has started to pick up. NC State crashing the offensive glass hard, but there's Johnson grabbing the board. And off to Munger, who spins the other way. Nas Hillman. And a three on the way, Kayla Robbins. The rebound to Leslie. Jones is left open. Jones will take that shot. And Munger fouled Hunter as she impeded her progress and going for that loose ball. And if Westmore thought it was going to be a game of effort, I feel like he's got to be pretty pleased the way his team is, especially on the offensive glass, going after it. Yeah, they're getting in there, getting those offensive rebounds. They're following their shots. So far, NC State is winning the rebounding battle, 12 to 9. That's an air ball, or was it a pass from Koenig? Uh, Kanane misses the point blank shot in front of Hillman. Yeah, that was a quick, quick release by Ace. The 
two three-point snipers guarding each other. Koenig and Munger now. Inside, Hillman scoring over Kinane. Hillman is a good-looking freshman. She's already had a 20-point game this season. And so now a battle of freshmen and Hillman and Kinane really bumping. Getting physical underneath. Coach Moore calling out a play here. Only 10 to shoot for the Wolfpack. NC State still can't knock down a three. The Wolfpack are 0 for 7 from the outside. Yeah, they're not getting the shots in their offense. You know, they're just trying to do it individually. They got to move the ball around and get the open shot. Haley Brown from just outside the free throw line knocks it down. And Michigan extends the lead. You see the Michigan players waving their hands. They keep their hands up. They're long. And finally, a three ball drops for the Wolfpack. Jones with the three. She's been working on that shot. She's been hitting that shot this season. Johnson answers with a three of her own. Johnson had all the time in the world. They're going to leave her that wide open. She's going to knock that down. Well, she hadn't made a three until that one this season. NC State looking to hold for the last possession. And Kinane travels. Michigan defense with their size, Ernie, swarming. Swarming, hands moving. They're very active. And they're long, so they're getting a little deflections. And that is the fourth turnover forced by the Wolverines. Four seconds left. And did the clock start a little early? And I believe, obviously, the clock doesn't start until Deja Church picks up the ball, and I think that's what they're looking at right now. Or actually, they put more time on it, did they not? Was it not 4.2? Am I imagining things? Yeah, they put more time on the clock. It's 4.8 now, yeah, they did. So an extra half second or so for the Wolverines, and we'll see what they can do here. I mean, they're playing with essentially five seconds. There's a lot you can do in those five seconds. Oh, yeah, you can get a, definitely get a shot off. You can move the ball up the court. Oh, she did. She and traveled. Church walks with the basketball. Now with .4 left, you're looking at essentially a tip. Yeah, it has to be a tip. You can't even get a shot off with .4 seconds. And NC State is going to have an inbounds pass here from just about midcourt. And so perhaps they could throw something at the rim and see if the 6'5 Canaan can do something with it. Yeah, that's what coach is, uh, coach is going to draw up a play here and see what happens. Tom should have ran out on that. He didn't draw that up. <laughs> <laughs> so Michigan with a 16-13 lead after an excellent first quarter here in Raleigh. Here's Jones. She's wide open. She knocks that three down. And right back at you with Johnson for the three. Kevin Keats and the NC State men's basketball team is next in action Saturday at 5 o'clock as they battle it out with Vanderbilt and the Hoop Hall Miami Invitation. It's the Wolfpack and the Commodores from sunny Miami, Florida. Catch the game on ESPN2 and the Watch ESPN app. Back here with Ernie Myers, my name is Andrew Sanders. The NC State freshman Elisa Kinane came off the bench and the first two possessions, they went to her with great success. Yeah, she was in attack mode. She knew she had a foul, and she was going right at her a with, a lot, with success. But from that point, Michigan made their next three field goals, and so they have a three-point advantage here as we are underway in the second quarter. Johnson a look inside. This is Brown. 
Left-handed shot won't go down. Here's Kunane pushing it. And Hallie Thome still on the bench to start this second quarter. Got beat defensively a couple of times, took a questionable three-pointer. Kunane hacked by Nas Hillman. And so our focus probably still stays inside because it's been a good battle between Kunane and the freshman Hillman. Yeah, they, they, they are battling down there. Uh, Hillman is a, a physical player. Uh, she gets wide on the offense down there, but she's, she's taking the challenge. Oh, Thome is back in the game. Leslie going around the 6-5 center, still had her shot blocked. Thome with the wingspan gets it done. Not only is she a good offensive player, she's, she's been a good defensive player in this game so far. Looking for her to get her offense going. Kanane blocks Thome. Leslie. Leslie on a throw. Oh, she split the, the double team. Beautiful move by Leslie. And a turnover forced. Hunter swatted it initially, tracked it down. Here's Grace on a. So Michigan likes to push the pace, but NC State here's doing it here. Here's Leslie. She's going all the way. Count it. You used to get that bounce all the time, Ernie. <laughs> yeah, right? Grace Hunter, as Ernie told you earlier, the MVP of the Cancun Challenge. She had a double-double against Michigan State and George Washington. I'm sure Wolverines fans don't mind that she had a double-double against Michigan State. Uh, no, they don't mind. <laughs> but they, they hate each other. They're hoping she has an off night tonight. And NC State on a little 4-0 spurt to retake the lead. Brown rushed her yeah. shot, and okay. the Wolfpack are starting to turn the screws here defensively. Yeah, the Wolfpack are pushing it. Oh, tough pass by Leslie. Good look, but that was a tough one. Well, Thome came out the hedge, so it looked like she had maybe a look. Yeah, she did have a look, and, and, and home, uh, Thome did hedge, and that affected her uh, eyesight on that pass. Leslie will get a breather. And we'll get our first look at the sophomore, Kai Crutchfield. A local product out of Raleigh's Millbrook High School. Dilk hasn't yet really made her mark in this game, but you have a feeling she probably will by the time it's done. Strong rebound by Jones. Crutchfield is in the game. Let's see if they can get Ace Conan open for the three. And who is it off last? Last touch by the Wolfpack. Wolverine basketball as Munger comes back in. Yeah, if Crutchfield can run the point, it'll open up uh, the lane and the perimeter for Ace Conan. And NC State is certainly against Michigan's size, been trying to shoot quite a few threes, uh, more than they typically do. But they're just one of nine, and so they want to get their best three-point shooter in Koenig uh, more looks. Speaking of three-point shooters, Munger again. Two for two in this one. Coming off seven against Washington. Hunter gets the roll. She plays with such great emotion, Ernie. Yeah, she does. She loves the game. Munger for the three. She can shoot that ball. And here's Grace. The soft touch. Hunter completes the three-point play, and Crutchfield with an interception, stepping in front of the Dilk pass. But she bricks the shot. That ball last touched by Jones. 
she had the right idea. She, she pulled up. She didn't want to go in for the offensive foul. It was just a little strong on the release. NC State just a one-point lead. This game has been an even one so far. Almost a walk from Robbins. Picks it back up. And she couldn't really get coordinated there, but NC State, no one saying same, same, same right there. Yeah, you got same team. Yeah, you got to talk on that rebound. But they were both going after it. And off to Munger. Three for three. That's a set play for Michigan. Man, that was from down under. She knocked that down. She's not playing tonight. Munger with nine points in this one. Perfect from the floor. Jones had it thrown back down by Thome. What an emphatic block. She's not shy, didn't let that get to her. Rebound tracked down by Church. And off the mark on the three, NC State one of 10 from the line and a double dribble or a travel, whatever you want to call there. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a violation by Deja Church. Well, Church was a point guard last year and they moved her to the off guard. Now she's back playing point guard. Um, she says she likes to play off the ball because she doesn't have to worry about, you know, getting everybody and passing the ball. So she's kind of confused in that, I think. Trying to run something for Ace Koenig. Good defense from Johnson. Pass picked off by Dilk. Michigan is playing great man-to-man -man defense. They are shading Ace Conan on her three-point shot. She can't even get a shot up. And you look at the difference in, that, in this game. That might be it. Munger's been able to get her shot in Michigan. Evidently, <laughs> that was the focus of their scouting report. Yeah, they get their hands up and they're shading Ace Conan. And then Munger cut to the basket on a beautiful feed by Amy Dill. Rare two-pointer. That is not even her game. And you get the overplay, right, trying to... She went back door and, and, and made that play. So Munger, who scored in double figures 16 times last year, already has 11 in this one, and there's still five minutes to go in the second quarter. NC State in the midst of a field goal drought in Michigan trying to step things up. Was that touched by Kanane? It was not. Nicole Munger has been the player of the game so far. Yeah, she's just doing her thing. Well, the difference in this game so far, Ernie, probably the three-point shooting. NC State just one of 10, but Michigan is four of eight. Yeah, Munger is just launching threes from all over the court. Some are contested, some are uncontested. She's got here's Johnson with a rare three. She knocked that down, and she was wide open. State has to get out on, uh, on these shooters and get a hand in their face. Munger, the senior from Doylestown, Pennsylvania, and 27 points against Washington. So she has to be coming in with some confidence. Then when you see that first shot go down, oh, and then the second one go down. And then the third one go down. <laughs> She's on fire. NC State O of its last four from the field. It's been over two and a half minutes since the Wolfpack has scored. Cassell lost it, jump ball, possession arrow favoring NC State. The Wolfpack can't get into their offensive sets, you know, Players are trying to make individual plays. They need to run the offense, get the ball, move the ball around, and get the open shot. Cassell took the ball low on that catch. They go back to her, and she is fouled. Good move by Cassell. Kayla Robbins charged with a foul. 
Ken Barnes or Rico. Wants an explanation about that. She didn't see that much contact there. It's the first foul on Robbins, but it is the fourth team foul on the Wolverines. So NC State is in the bonus for the rest of this half, the remaining four minutes and 21 seconds. Casella is shooting 87% from the free throw line. That's a strong free throw stroke right there. And that one rattles out, but I Leslie think, with the board. I think I jinxed her. Jones. Another offensive rebound. And Michigan right now can't hold NC State to one and done. And that's now seven offensive rebounds for the Wolfpack. Cassell, free throw line jumper. And a reach in foul goes against Hunter. That will be her first. Just yeah, that's the second Cassell's shot right there, that free throw shot right there. She just couldn't knock it down. But again, State is not running their offense, and they're not getting the shot that the coach wants. Coach West wants better shots than that. Amy Dilk, the five-star freshman, bringing the ball up the court for the Wolverines. I mean, overall, that was an open jumper, but overall in the game, they need to get better shots. Sure. Another good skill by Leslie. Turnover. Leslie going all the way. Oh, good bounce pass. She, she had you fooled. She had me fooled. And the Michigan defense. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it certainly looked like she was going to take it herself. Last second layoff. The Michigan lead is just one. Cassell fronting the post. Dilk thought about going inside to Thome. Instead, she'll pull it out. And Johnson will get the entry pass in. And the score. And that's Thome's game right there. The jump hooks, left hand, right hand. Nice job for the Wolverines. Finding a better angle to get that entry pass in. Trying to get Hallie Thome into the game. That's her first field goal. One of six from the floor. She's got four points. And a travel on Jones. I didn't see that. I didn't see that either. Here's Leslie on the steal. She's pushing it, pushing it. Bounce pass to Grace for the lay-in. Beautiful play. Hillman and Thome into the game now for Michigan. Big lineup, but they find the three for Munger. Why not? She is unconscious from deep tonight. Munger's on fire. She has seven threes against Washington. I think she has five in this game already. And she's got four for right now. She hasn't missed one yet, though. I feel like every possession, you got to get her the ball until she does miss. <laughs> yeah, she's just running off screens, and she's getting wide open threes. I mean, I'd say she's earned a heat check. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> maybe two. Yeah, maybe two heat checks. Largest lead of the game for Michigan here. As Ace Koenig will replace Kai Crutchfield. Hunter in the double figures now. Grace is shooting 83% from the free throw line. She bottoms that one. Minutes to go here in the first half. NC State forcing turnovers, pushing the pace. Great move by Grace. She took that all the way in. She was not going to be denied. Eight turnovers for the Maize and Blue. And an offensive foul. They're going to get Hillman here, I believe. He does go against the freshman from Cleveland. Person, person. 
And another turnover, although this one, a dead ball turnover, doesn't hurt quite as much. It's still not something uh, Coach Barnes and Rico wants to see. Koenig didn't catch the ball cleanly, almost threw it away. D.D. Rogers, it's sloppy here from the Wolfpack. You can really see the size and wingspan of Michigan bothering them. Yeah, they're getting the, the state is getting those offensive rebounds. That's what's keeping them alive. Yeah, the size really hasn't translated to the defensive glass for Michigan. Tough shot for Kinane, puts it up there on the rim, bounces twice. Munger wanting the ball, didn't get it quite as early as she wanted. Leslie on her, NC State's best perimeter defender. Hillman going to work. Back out, a church three. Cash, Michigan, six of 10 from deep. Yeah, they, they're, they're, they're killing the three-point line right now in this game in the first half. On the road against number 13, going to take a halftime lead into the locker room. The question is just going to be how big will that lead be? About a .5 differential between shot clock and game clock here, so NC State can hold. Yeah, I think yeah. Coach wants him to take the last shot here. Kinane, oh. big block from Thome to stick back. Good from Rogers as time expires. That's a Coach. big time block. Yeah, that was a big time block. Coach Westmore thinks he got him with the body. That was a great block by Thome. And great put back by D.D. Rogers. And a great first half, 32-29. Both teams playing really hard, Ernie. Yeah, this is a tough game. This is a great game. All right, we'll take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the halftime show in just a few minutes. You're watching the ACC Big Ten Challenge on the ACC Network Extra. Halftime here in the beautifully renovated Reynolds Coliseum, Michigan 32, NC State. 29 at the break and we welcome you back courtside everybody here in Reynolds Coliseum hello I'm Andrew Sanders here with Ernie Myers all right Ernie Michigan with a three-point lead what's been the key for them well their defense you know they overplaying state state can't get into their offense they're not getting the shots they would like Ace Conan hasn't scored uh, so uh, that's what that's that's the deal right now yeah and they've also been getting some pretty good offense too from Nicole Munger yeah, 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 Nicole Munger has been launching threes from all over the court. I mean, she's just dead-eyed. It's like she lives in the gym here. She's wide open here, bang. Here she is getting off the, another three. Here she, here she is going to the basket. You know, she's just been all over the place. She's playing the game of her life. And the main scorer for NC State answering Munger uh, with her 14 points. Grace Hunter has 13 for the pass. Yeah, Grace Hunter is going to the basket. She's finding her shot. Here she is getting the pass from uh, Leslie for the lay-in. Here she is on the break. She's going all the way. And now we'll take a look at some first half stats. And you see the Wolverines with the edge in field goals overall, but especially from the bonus fear. That's been maybe the biggest difference. Yeah, the three-point shooting, absolutely. I mean, they're, they almost even, the state is leading in the rebounding area, but they're getting a lot of offensive rebounds. Uh, Sis right here, they're getting the ball out to uh, Munger, and uh, she's just launching threes from all over the place. Yeah, NC State winning uh, the battle in the paint 18 to 10, winning off turnovers, winning off the fast break, and winning that rebounding battle that we talked about. It was going to be so crucial, uh, but the great equalizer, in basketball now is the three-point shot. Michigan is simply doing it outstanding. NC State has struggled, and so it's the Wolverines with a three-point lead to this point. So it's 32-29 to 29 here in Raleigh, uh, but there's nine games on. You can watch them all <laughs> yeah, you if you want. If you've got enough tablets and phones and, and <laughs> laptops and put it on your smart TV, you could probably put all of them uh, on, on all your home devices it's here. It's basketball mania. No doubt. <laughs> uh, but here's a look uh, at the scores around the league. And uh, so far, uh, the ranked teams handling business except the Boilermakers up at the half uh, on Miami. Yeah, the Boilermakers, uh, they're, 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 I guess they're getting their game in <laughs> tonight, but it's, it's, it's only the first half. Yeah, and the big one uh, that everyone is keeping an eye on 
uh, between the Irish and the Hawkeyes. 45-34, Notre Dame leading by 11 there at the halftime break. That should be a very good one, and it's on ESPN2 as we speak. But we hope you'll stick around here. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes with more of the halftime show from Raleigh. Home of 24 NCAA tournament appearances, 12 Sweet 16 dances, and a pursuit to the Final Four. Home of local heroes, record setters, and national legends. This is our home, our house. Do not expect a friendly invitation to the Wolves Den. While memories fill these walls, history is yet to be written. This is Reynolds Coliseum, home of NC State women's basketball. Fifteen schools all on one network. A new place to call home, the ACC Network, coming August 2019. Reynolds Coliseum not only has K. Yao Court, it also has the NC State Hall of Fame, where, of course, the legendary coach is honored. Back with Ernie Myers, I'm Andrew Sanders. Michigan leading at the half here, 32 to 29. Here's a look at the Big Ten standing so far. Four undefeated teams, Maryland, Indiana, Minnesota, and Northwestern. Michigan was picked to finish third uh, in the Big Ten standings. Now, you know, Maryland's going to be awfully tough, but you got to think that uh, the Wolverines are going to be right up there, two, three in the league, and, and might take a run at the Terrapins. Hey, they might take a run. Hey, they play great defense. They have the great size, and the way Munger is shooting the ball and throwing, they, they're going to be in it. All right, we're going to take one more quick break. When we come back, we will have second half action from the city of Oaks. Teams are back on the floor. We are almost ready to go. Michigan leads it by three. Just about set to go for second half action here in historic Reynolds Coliseum on K. Yao Court, Michigan with a three-point lead on the road against the number 13 team in the country. Back here with Ernie Myers, my name is Andrew Sanders. Ernie, it's time for your keys to the second half. Yeah, I think that the uh, Wolfpack has to run their offense, you know, get the ball inside out, move the ball around the perimeter, uh, get Ace Conan into the game. She hadn't scored in the first half. And for Michigan, they need to get the ball inside the dome and cut, cut down on the turnovers. And, and, they'll, and they'll have success in this game. NC State and Michigan meeting for the third time in school history. They are split even, one game apiece. But Michigan won the last one back on December 5th, 2008. So uh, at least in my mind, that doesn't, that doesn't seem like that long ago. You think about it, well, it was a decade ago. But uh, Michigan won 63-52 in Ann Arbor, and that was part of the ACC Big Ten Challenge. So earlier I was telling you how well Michigan has done in this uh, event. They already boast one win over the Wolfpack. That was at home, trying to do it on the road here. So far through 20 minutes of play, so good. And the Wolfpack has a 22-game uh, non-conference on the line here. Yeah, very, very good point. Dilk forces up a shot. It was bothered by Leslie, who gets the board and looks to move with it. To the cup. And that's Leslie's game. She gets the ball off the rebound, and she'll take it all the way to the hole, just like she did right there. Dilk with a turnover. Trying to feed Thome. Instead, she starts the NC State break. Thome with great interior defense. Herself couldn't even get a look at the basket. They go to her again. Thome all oh, over it. Partially blocked by Thome. Yeah, she's all over it. Church pushing the pace. She's fouled by Leslie. Both players fall a little awkwardly. They both appear to be all right. And the foul does go against Leslie. That's her second. Here's Church, and there's the foul 
by Leslie. They both took hard falls on that one. So yeah, as you just said, Ernie, NC State has won 22 straight at home here in Reynolds Coliseum. In non-conference play, they haven't lost all the way back to December of 2015, the last time they lost to a non-conference opponent at home. Church just a 50% free throw shooter this year. She knocked down both. Looking confident doing so. Yeah. Last year she made four starts, played in 33 games. She's off to a nice start this year, and she picks the pocket of Leslie. Off to the races. Deja Church gives Michigan a five-point lead. Yeah, she stole the ball from Leslie and took it all the way down. Great play by Church. She set a career high against uh, Missouri. 15 points uh, against the Tigers. Cassell trying to step out, and she's able to score that way. Hasn't had the success inside against Thome. Make her come out and guard her. Yeah, make her come out and guard her. If she keeps knocking that jumper down, she's going to have to come out of there. And she blocks Dilk. And the freshman, after almost getting a triple-double against Washington, she's having a tough night tonight so far. Yeah, she is. Here's the steal by Church. Taking it all the way in on Leslie right here. The land. Unger with a basket. Leading all scores with 16 points. She's a perfect six of six from the floor. Yeah, I was just about to say, I haven't seen her miss a shot yet. Way to split the defense. Wolfpack wanting a foul. They won't get it, but the ball is last touched by the Wolverines. Leslie blocked initially by Munger, goes up again. Thome at least bothered that shot. Yeah, the length is affecting the Wolfpack going to the basket. And Dilk still can't get anything to drop. She's 0 of 7. And she had a, a leak out opportunity there. They're waiting on Coach to call the play. They're waiting on Coach Westmore to call the play. NC State really hasn't gotten into its offense at all yet. Munger rejects Koenig, and she saw that one coming. There's that length again. They keep their arms up all the time on the defensive end. Dilk finally gets one to drop as that one swirls around, and you know if it's swirling around the rim, you're having a tough night, you're thinking, come on, not again. Maybe that'll get her going. Beautiful pass by Church to Dilk for the lay-in. Largest lead for Michigan here at seven points. Koenig catch and shoot. Splash. That's just what the Wolfpack needed. You see that ace shot go down right there in the corner. Thome, a quick, easy bucket the other way. So ace Koenig, maybe that jump starts her. As you said, she didn't score in the first half. She's now made at least one three-pointer in 40 consecutive games. So that streak was on the line before that shot just went down. She'll so, try another one. And so far this season, she's averaging 3.5 threes a game. So she and Munger might have a battle here down the stretch because Koenig started backpedaling immediately after that second three. She knew he was dropping. Foam will be called for a hook. And that leaves Kim Barnes or Rico at a loss. Here's Ace in the corner. And here she is again from the top of the key. Bang. She says, I'm tired of seeing those Munger jump shots going down. I got to get myself started. Seeing Munger go under the screen, that's a no-no. She'll take a quick breather, Will Nicole Munger. And NC State has cut what was a seven-point lead to just a three-point lead in a matter of moments. A couple of possessions. See, Michigan, as soon as they get in their defensive stance, they put their hands right up, right in your face.
Leslie to the line. The foul will go against Church, her second. By the way, that foul on Thome was also uh, her second. So neither team really dealing with a ton of foul trouble at this point. Leslie's first free throw drops. Leslie shooting 61% from the free throw line. She missed that one. Kanane and Thome going at it underneath. They give the senior a touch. Skip pass, open three, won't go. Tipped and won by Robbins, finding Dilk underneath. She blew the layup, Robbins another stick back. And so Michigan gets three opportunities but can't cash it in. And Robbins is all over Leslie. It's a good crowd in here tonight, and right now they're vocal. Yeah, they're, they're loud in here. This reminds me of the old Reynolds. Michigan really preventing NC State from getting into their offense at all. Rodgers throws up a deep three. That's not her shot. And an offensive foul here on Haley Brown. Yeah, Haley Brown just pushed D.D. Rodgers in the back. Good one, Bruin here in Raleigh, 42-40, Michigan leading. Basketball players in the country, R.J. Barrett and Zion Williamson are in the house to take this one in. Yeah, number one and possibly number two in the NBA draft next year are checking out the game tonight. They beat Indiana in the ACC Big Ten Challenge, and you're wondering, well, oh, hey, what are, what are the Duke players doing here? Well, uh, how about this? The Canadian connection, Haley Brown, Ace Koenig, they both are from Canada. They both uh, helped Canada win that bronze medal in the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. So, first of all, they know each other. Yeah, they know each other. Uh, but Haley Brown is from Hamilton, Ontario. R.J. Barrett is from Mississauga, Ontario. It's just about a 30-minute drive. Hey, so they, he's they, there in support. Probably, yeah, they probably grew up playing together and knowing each other in Canada. And uh, that's a good look for her <laughs> to get him out here and Zion to a game here in Reynolds oh. Coliseum. Yeah, maybe you can get an autograph after the game. <laughs> Kanade going to work. Good Finds pass. an open. Rogers, she's fouled and counted. Here's Kunane with a back to the basket. She can pass the ball for a big player. D.D. Rogers for the and one. And NC State has the lead for the first time since the seven minute mark of the second quarter. 7-0 run for the Wolfpack over the last two minutes. By the way, that foul went on Nas Hillman, that's her third. 15 on the clock as Church makes the catch top of the key. Trying to free up Munger and Leslie will be called for a hold off the ball. She was chasing Munger around and evidently committed the foul. She's state's best perimeter defensive player. She always takes the, the best offensive player on the, on the other team. Well, I tell you what, as a foul will be called on Ace Koenig, uh, undercutting Kayla Robbins. Robbins has hit the offensive glide very hard here in the third quarter. See her rising up. And, yeah, well, that was, that was called a foul on Kone. Got yeah, that, that she wasn't really going play. for it. Yeah, that, that should have been a play <laughs> on. And Robbins is probably saying, I wish I could play on too because she was about to score. I think both teams upset with that one. Munger will shoot over Thome. And she hesitated for that one. Yeah, rare miss by And Hunter. now Dee Dee Rogers is called for a foul. And uh, Wes Moore, hands above his head, he is upset. Yeah, he's losing his mind over there, and I don't blame him. Now Rogers bowled over Crutchfield. Let's see here, deep three. I don't see the foul there. Hillman 
with an easy score off a bounce pass by Nicole Munger. And Michigan retakes the lead. We have a seesaw battle going here. Kunane and one. Beautiful move by Kunane. That foul Taking will be it straight to uh, Thome. That foul will be Thome's third. Third foul. Look at that shot. She has a soft touch around the basket. For so a big player. And a big smile from the freshman. She came out with her hair on fire, back-to-back -back baskets, and had been quiet since then. She's got six, make it seven on a good-looking stroke. Doak looking to penetrate and threw it right between the legs of Thome. Yeah, that was a freshman mistake right here. She just threw that pass too low. Back by two. The double team comes on Koenig. Someone's got to be open. They work it around. Now Hunter dices down the lane. Thome had to be careful there, and she was. That was a nice move by Hunter. He didn't go down. Munger's had the hot hand in this one. She's got 16 points, leading all scores. Throw him a hand off Kayla Robbins. Crossover dribble to Dilk. Yeah, they're Six to shoot. Hunter now. They're trying not to let her even get the ball in their hands. Robbins turned it over. Both of these teams are outstanding defensively, and we've seen that tonight. Yeah, you got to come to the ball in this game because they're shading. Kanane out, short corner. Offensive rebound to the freshman. She's fouled. Now both Hillman and Thome have three fouls. That one's going to go against Hillman. Monane is very active underneath. She's in perpetual motion at all times. That's why she was able to get that offensive rebound and put back. She's a 72 percent free throw shooter. Free throw goes down, and McHenry Johnson has to check in for Hillman, who again picked up her fourth foul. Beautiful stroke by Kunay. She's three for three from the line. NC State, this is its largest lead now at 48-44. Johnson just into the ball game. Kinane blocked that shot. Foam fighting for the rebound, but it goes to Kayla Jones, and the Wolfpack look to push. A lot of energy in this building right now. It's Kinane. Good post pass, to right. post to Hunter. Missed the layup. Got her own board back up, and she'll go to the line. Now, who is that foul on? It's on Dilk. That's her third. There you go, right into Kinane. Good pass on the baseline. Hunter missed the chippy. Got back in there for the rebound. Fighting, fighting, putting it back up. Great hustle by Grace. And with that offensive rebound, NC State now pulls ahead of Michigan. The rebound battle has been pretty even. It's 31-30 right now. Uh, but the difference, NC State with 13 offensive rebounds. Michigan has eight. Extending Michigan. the lead further. Michigan is not boxing out. Munger goes around the foam screen. She'll take the three. And that's the first open one tonight that she hasn't hit. This is going to be a jump ball call. And NC State will have possession. Both teams are going at it. I love a game like this. Well, we said at the start, right, it might have that kind of postseason feel to it because we expect both of these teams to be NCAA tournament teams and probably not just first-round NCAA tournament teams either. 
Yeah, I know uh, Coach Wes Moore is definitely trying to get his team to the tournament. Great pass inside, but Kanin could not finish. Kayla Jones with the feed, and Michigan with a chance now. And just getting that one stop might give them a spurt. State picks up their defensive intensity as well here. Dilt puts it on the deck. Ten to shoot. Robbins now. Hard drive. Oh, how did that not go down? Yeah, that was a strong drive to the basket. She just missed that. NC State is plus nine in this quarter. And they can hold for the last shot. Step back three. Johnson saves the rebound, and Robbins did not get it off before the buzzer. The intensity is there, the energy is here, and it's tight down the stretch, Ernie. Yeah, it's, it's a great game here. Here's some name, wheeling and dealing, putting that ball up on the rim, count it. Next Wednesday night, NC State men's basketball returns to Reynolds Coliseum for a matchup with Western Carolina. It's Heritage Night as the legendary Wolfpack coach Jimmy V will be honored with the naming of the James T. Valvano Arena in a pregame ceremony, which you can watch live at 7 o'clock right here on the ACC Network Extra. The game will follow at 7.20, so make sure you don't miss any of the action from a historic night in Raleigh. Ernie, you were on the 1983 National Championship team. You were coached by the great Jimmy V. What was that experience like uh, being on that team and playing for that coach? Man, it was, a, it was a blessing in disguise. I mean, just being able to play for coach. And he was so inspirational. And, you know, his battle against cancer. And, then, you know, that whole 83 season was just magical. And it's, it's, an, it's an honor and a privilege. I'm going to be here that night for the uh, naming, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. First possession of the fourth quarter, Mission's got a hurry. Only five to shoot, Church Good sealed defense. off. Deep three from Robbins. That's not her shot. And the long rebound is won by neither team. Jump ball. Four different players on the deck, three of them wearing maize and blue. Possession arrow goes to State. And Michigan started off with the basketball to start the fourth quarter. Yeah, so many here in Raleigh uh, were so excited when it was announced that this is Kay Alcourt, this is William Neal Reynolds Coliseum, but it will be James T. Valvano Arena dedicated on December 5th. And there's, there's so many memories here in Reynolds Coliseum. I know it's new, but the old Reynolds was the big barn and, and – we had that national championship season, you know, playing in this arena, and this was Coach's home. He spent a lot of time in this, uh, in this gym practicing, and uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful arena. It's the second foul on Kayla Robbins, and of course, this time of year you have Jimmy V Week and so much money raised uh, for the Jimmy V Cancer Fund uh, through ESPN. Every year it's a must watch. I have to go back if I don't catch it. Um, I go watch it on YouTube. You got to watch the SB <laughs> speech that he had. Yeah, that was so inspirational when Coach got up there and spoke. And uh, I run into people in business all the time. And when I mention I played for Jimmy V, they always talk about that ESPN speech. Yeah. Just to give yourself a reminder, laugh, think, cry. You do that every day. And, hey, that's a good day. That's a great day. <laughs> Robbins had all day to think about it. Yeah, she had too much time. Wolfpack by six. Hunter, a three. Oh, that would have been a big one had it dropped. Yeah, the crowd would have went nuts. Michigan being very patient here on offense so far in the fourth. 
An offensive foul. Charge drawn by Jones. See, Jones... State is playing such great defense. Jones is not that player right now. She's not, you know, she's not the go-to player. And, and, and she's trying to force it. And she's hurting her team right now. Coach took out of the game. Haley Brown back in. Leslie curls it in. Off the window and good. Leaping leaner by Leslie. I like the alliteration, Ernie. <laughs> this will be a foul on Elisa Kinane. And that's just her first foul. Remember we started and we said she averages three per game, leads the team in fouls. She's gonna have her hands full with Hallie Thome. That's just her first foul. Well, 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 State's been guarding that three-point line. That one badly missed by Haley Brown. And would it be fair to say, Ernie, Elisa Kinane has been outplaying Hallie Thome in this one. Oh, she definitely has. Um, she came out, like you said, hair on fire, and she's taking it right, taking it right to Thome. Here she goes with her hand straight up and up and in. Right on cue. The vision of Ace Koenig finding Kinane. A nice catch, and then the easy finish. Going inside to Thome. That'll be Kinane's second foul, and Hallie Thome will go to the line to shoot two. Here's that pace by O'Connor. Threw the ball up high. She actually kept the ball up high, brought it back down. Score. Well, they changed the foul uh, to be on Grace Hunter instead, so that's her second. So Kinane still with just the one foul. Kinane nodding her head. She's getting some direction from Wes Moore. As Stone makes the free throw, Michigan perfect from the line tonight. But they haven't gotten there very often. This will just be the sixth free throw taken. Oh, Munger had her hand on the rebound, couldn't completely corral it. Here's Hunter on the attack. Koenig feeding the post. Back out. It's a Jones three. Thome and Hunter scrapping for the board. Hunter just all over the place. 15.7 rebounds and three steals. Leslie, count the basket. Leslie off the dribble, going to the hole strong. Here she goes off the drive here. She would not be denied. That's a tough foul for Amy Dilk. That's her fourth. So she joins Hillman with four, and Hillman is in the game right now. Uh, Coach barnes Rico trying to go with playing both bigs, but because Hillman picked up that fourth, uh, she wasn't able to do it very long. Uh, Kenray Johnson came in for Hillman in that moment, and now she goes with Johnson to replace Dilk. And for Amy Dilk, unfortunately, you're probably going to have that even as a five-star big-time recruit. Uh, in your freshman season, you might have some great games, almost get a triple-double like she did against Washington. You're going to have some struggles, too. Yeah, you're going to have some struggles. It's the life of a freshman. You know, she's going to learn things. She's going to be a lot better next year and as the year progresses. Yeah. Uh, one thing we know, her, ski, her ceiling, sky high. It's definitely off the charts. Michigan not into their offense yet. Church with one on the shot clock. That's a huge three. Yeah, they needed that three. She took her time. Got him on the fake. Bottom that. And the pressure from Michigan making things difficult for NC State. Yeah, really bailed them out, but then they leave Leslie wide open in the corner, and that'll be a jump ball. It'll be Michigan basketball. Look at Leslie's face. She just can't believe it. She's a little not, embarrassing. Yeah, it's just a little embarrassing. That's never happened to me before. 
<laughs> and now they need someone to go get it. Leslie says, I'll oblige. Oh, it almost went in. Leslie got ups. You know, her brother CJ was a high flyer here at NC State. Oh, he, he used to get up. CJ Leslie was no joke. A tremendous dunker, and Leslie went and got that ball unstuck from between the rim and the backboard. Eight point Wolfpack lead. Michigan coming off the Deja Church three. Will she queue up another one? I thought they were going to have to pull Zion out of the stands, get him to jump up there and get it out of there, right? <laughs> he could get it pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, really, right? Shot clock violation. And you know Wes Moore, any head coach, but especially a coach that preaches defense as much as Wes Moore. Anytime the ref starts patting their head, he's a happy guy. Oh, absolutely. Hillman, Hillman with, with the, the steal. steal. Johnson on the lay in. And you got to finish that Michigan. Got the turnover. Got what Coach Barnes Arico was looking for. But they don't get the basket. Yeah, yeah, she has to convert on that one. Media timeout. NC State with the lead. But Michigan ratcheting up the pressure. We'll go down the stretch on the other side of this break. Good game here in Raleigh between Michigan and NC State. I'm Andrew Sanders back with Ernie Myers. And quite a few good games going on across the ACC Big Ten Challenge in this, the 12th year. Notre Dame, they're not at half anymore. Uh, and Notre Dame now blowing out Iowa. Uh, the Irish, so, so tough. But, you know, Maryland? Pushed a little bit by Georgia Tech. Purdue looking to spring the upset. Yeah. Uh, there's some good ones. Ohio State, North Carolina, they're still tight. And, of course, this game here as we are back from the media timeout. Yeah, this game's not over here. Ace Conan is all over Munger. Look inside to Hillman, back out. Inside, outside basketball, well done. And Haley Brown cans the three. Brown delivered on that shot. That was a big three. So first the Church triple, now the Brown. And it's just a five-point game. Jones. Good move by Jones. Way to move the ball around. Wolfpack got it to Jones for the pretty lay-in. Church trying to go quickly. Good move by Hillman. Left hand, you bet. Hillman is a good-looking freshman, boy. She took her time, posted up, got the ball on the, on the backboard, and laid that in. So now this Michigan pressure has been bothering NC State a bit, and they turn it over. Brown steps in front of the pass. Yeah, they whipped out the press on the Wolfpack, and they're having a hard time adjusting to it. And Brown charged with an offensive foul away from the ball. No. On Hillman, a clear out. It was away from the basketball. I didn't see it. I, didn't I, see I thought that, that they were looking at Brown, but yeah, that'll be Hillman's fifth. Coach Arrigo can't believe it. This is a really tough way to foul out. Let's see. What do you think about that? I don't know what to think about that, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, on the one hand, I do see it because the contact was there, made. Yeah, the contact uh, was made. But, but Hillman's not looking that way. She just puts her arms up and slides over. She has no clue that Kanane's behind her. And it's kind of Kanane who makes the contact there. Uh, that's, that's a tough way to pick up your fifth foul, obviously. And now I believe that the officials are going to go to the monitor. They didn't get in a game in time, as they call the technical? Oh. So I thought they were going to look at the monitor to see if there was no. It is a technical foul because uh, Michigan did not bring a substitute quickly enough. That's what we're being told. Remember, gone are the days that you could get what your you, fifth foul, and essentially it, it, it's a timeout. Yeah, it's a timeout, or you, you have a minute to, or 30 seconds to get a player in the game. So not only does Hillman foul out uh, on a tough call, but a technical foul added to that. 
and just when Michigan had cut this to a five-point game. Coach Rico is her face is shows his disbelief. It's just she can't believe this. Grace Hunter, 83% free throw shooter. This is a, a game that both teams won, obviously, a lot because it is a marquee non-conference matchup. Uh, you know, I'm sure that they would like to win for their respective conference and all that, but no, more so selfishly for their own resume, <laughs> they want it. But especially for Michigan, when you're on the road, you're playing a team ranked in the top 15. Uh, that's a, a huge feather in your cap come tournament time. Yeah, and they've played a couple of ranked teams already. Right. Texas. And Missouri. And Missouri. So after the technical foul, Hunter knocks them both down. Seven-point game. Great catch by Jones. And she's fouled by Church. NC State is in the bonus. And all Coach Barnes and Rico can do right now is just shake her head. Kayla Jones doesn't get to the free throw line often. This is her second free throw of the year. And she's 0-4. She missed them both. And then a foul going against NC State on Kiara Leslie. That's just the third team foul on the Wolfpack, so it will not result in free throws. But uh, Jones had an opportunity to make it as much as a nine-point game. Instead, it's just seven points. Just over three minutes to go in this one. Robbins looking for a backdoor cut of Munger instead to Dilk, who lost it for a moment, regathers. 15 on the clock here. Munger, just outside the free throw line. She called bank. The bank was open on that shot. She's having a whale of a game. Yeah, I don't think she actually called bank. I think that was maybe the, the first shot tonight for her that didn't really look clean, but it still goes in. Koenig catching fire. Leslie on the rebound with the left hand. She's everywhere. Offensive rebounds have been the story tonight for NC State. That's number 15 in the game. And Jones is out of control, looking like she was trying to draw a foul. She does not. And it's a turnover. Michigan with a timeout. NC State starting to take control, Ernie. Yeah, here's the missed shot by Ace. Here's Leslie on the rebound. With the, with the shot that goes down. Back from our final media timeout, 2.20 to go. Ernie, top of the show, we wanted to highlight the bigs for both teams. And it's been Elisa Kunain, the freshman, who's been getting it done for the Wolfpack. Yes, she has. She came out ready to play in attack mode. A variety of shots to the basket. She's winning this battle of the bigs. So Kunain with 11 points. She's also gotten a ton of help uh, from her guards, both Kiera Leslie and Grace Hunter. Not only scoring and rebounding, but when she didn't have the shot, she got the ball out to the shooters, found people. She's just been, you know, a great game for her in and this type of environment. A whistle came from all the way down the court. I thought initially, because of where it came from, that maybe NC State had called a timeout. They did not, and I believe it's a clock issue here. Okay. That the clock didn't start. So both teams are going to take this opportunity to huddle up. And there's obviously a lot to talk about because Michigan trying to get back in this game. We've seen them go full court press, uh, and NC State trying to beat that pressure. Yeah, it's still a game. It's and uh, great job by our officials uh, coming over, letting us know 
that the clock didn't start, and now they're just going to the monitor just to make sure and see how much time should have come off the clock. Right, right. Uh, and they determine right now, it looks like a couple seconds. Uh, they've got the shot clock at least at 28 for right now. Our officials hey, it's, it's a seven-point game with two yeah. minutes to go. It's still a game. Yeah, every second matters here. Uh, our officials tonight, Karen Priato, uh, Carla Fountain, and Mark Berger. All right, so we got the clock issue taken care of. Now the clock does start, and NC State still has to contend with that pressure. Yeah. They've been able to find open shots, though, and drives from the corner. Yes, they have, and they handled the press well. Oh, great pass by Jones to Kunain. Michigan trying to go click. quick. NC State basically just packs it in underneath. Leads to an open three, but Brown can't get it to fall. And that rebound was knocked out of the hands of Robbins. Both teams facing their toughest test of the season so far. Hunter can handle the ball out there. Shot it over Munger, who really bothered that shot. Yeah, that's not the shot, shot coach was looking for. Church picked up her dribble in a tough spot. Reaching Wait, in was Jones floor, Jones. on the floor. Jump ball. That is a winning play. You got to get on the floor in a game like this. Sophomore Kayla Jones playing a big role for the Wolfpack tonight. Five points, but seven rebounds and some effort plays like that. Just get it over. Now NC State will run some clock. Michigan needing a foul, they will. And Munger. Just her third. Hey, get this, Ernie. You know the story at halftime we said NC State was doing all the things that they wanted to in this game except they were shooting horribly from three-point range. Uh, that's really continued. The Wolfpack's just three of 21. That's 14%. Uh, but to their benefit, Michigan has cooled off. Remember, they were six of 10 at halftime. Yep. Since then, the Wolverines have gone uh, just two of eight. And, uh, and that's because... Yeah, the Wolfpack up their uh, defensive intensity. Michigan currently in game number four of a five-game road swing. Sunday, they've got to travel to Wisconsin and play Marquette. And the schedule, you see the records of some of those teams, whether it's Long Island or Oakland, uh, Morgan State. They've got, it gets a little easier from here. They played now three ranked teams. It does get a little bit easier. Uh, Marquette will not be easy on yeah, Sunday, however. Yeah, that, that Marquette game is going to be a tough game. And a look at NC State's upcoming schedule. Should be a good one against the Monarchs of Old Dominion on Sunday. They'll travel uh, to Georgetown. And not this weekend, but next. And it's all about you know, preparing your team for, for conference play and then for, obviously, the tournament. Both of these teams, both of these coaches, scheduling tough. Yeah, you have to in order to get that tournament, tournament bid. Michigan running a lot of time right now as they wait for Munger to come open. Thome threw it away. Thome's having a tough game here tonight. And just seven points for her. Has chipped in seven rebounds and three assists. But for a player that might be the best in the Big Ten, might win Big Ten Player of the Year this year, she just didn't have as much of an impact on this game as certainly we were expecting. Uh, no, she, she didn't have an All-American game today. Church can't get it to drop as the horn sounds. 
And NC State wins a tight one against Michigan. Final score 66-55. The Wolfpack finishing the game with its largest lead. This game was a lot closer than that for most of it. Yeah, it was a great game. Both teams went at each other, gave each other their best shot. But State came out victorious. Uh, great game, though. So the Wolfpack improved to 7-0 for the first time since the 1990-2000 season for a team that started 14-0 that year. So they've got a goal then uh, to reach. Michigan drops just its second of the year, and the Wolfpack wins one for the ACC here in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. For my partner, Ernie Myers, our fantastic crew here in Raleigh. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Andrew Sanders saying so long. Again, the Wolfpack wins at 66-55. This has been a presentation of ESPN.